What's going on everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Recently AWS has updated the AWS Lambda console along with few new features and AWS Lambda destination was one of the important feature. So if you are curious about what exactly AWS Lambda destination is and how you can use it then I have done the tutorial for the same and you can find the link in the video description. So before I move on, uh, I have a request for you. So guys, please hit the subscribe button if you have not still subscribed. And if you are finding my tutorial useful, then please hit the like button too. Each like, subscribe and comment motivates me to do more and better each time. So it's a humble request. So moving along. So in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a feature or option called retry attempts, which is under asynchronous invocation pane and we will have a look shortly. So as we know that while the Lambda function is invoked asynchronously and in case it fails or throw an exception, then uh, Lambda retries to invoke function two more times. Hence the Lambda function is invoked three times overall in case of exception it is receiving. So now what if we don't want Lambda function to retry two more times after an exception? So let's see how we can do that. So earlier it was not straightforward to control the retry behavior of the Lambda function, but now we have a feature or option called retry attempts within Lambda console and we can easily configure it. So let's have a look. So before we move on, I want you to have a look at this architecture diagram. It's a very basic diagram. So these are the resources that we are going to create. So we will start with this IAM role followed by the S3 bucket and the Lambda function. And then uh, we are going to set a trigger on the Lambda function to invoke, right? So let's get started with IAM management console. So once you are within IAM management console, click on roles, then click on create role, select Lambda function as a service because we are creating this IAM role for the Lambda function permissions say lambda execute and i think we are good with this it should have cloudwatch and s3 and yes it does have the permission within this so click on next tags give a tag i will say name retry iam review give a role name i will say lambda underscore retry underscore IAM and say create role. Now once the role is created, jump to S3 management console. Here we are going to create a new bucket. So once you are within S3 management console, click on create bucket, give it a name. I will say lambda retry check and say create and the S3 bucket has been created successfully. Now jump back to Lambda management console. And over there, of course, we are going to create a new Lambda function. So click on create function, give a function name. I will say retry Lambda demo, select runtime as Python 3.8. Within permission, select use an existing role, select the IAM role that we have just created saying Lambda retry IAM and say create function. Now earlier I was talking about the feature or option called retry attempt within invocation, sorry, not invocation, asynchronous invocation pane. So that is here asynchronous invocation pane and within that we are going to deal with retry attempts. So by default it's two, right? So right now I'm not changing it. Uh, 
before changing it i'm going to show you the default behavior of the lambda function but before that we have to add a trigger so click on add trigger select s3 service select bucket name say lambda retry check rest of the option remain as it is and say add right now we are going to invoke this lambda function by dropping a file within the s3 bucket that we have just created so go to s3 management console open that bucket that is lambda retry check and drop a file so i will say maybe this one say upload now once the file is uploaded it's going to trigger the lambda function right so we will jump back to that lambda function click on monitoring and say view logs in cloudwatch now here we will be able to check the logs and the invocation has started so it invoked it for a single time because there is no error right so now uh, we are going to modify the lambda function code so that it can throw an exception and we can see the uh, default behavior of lambda function so i will say print event of something right so something is a key uh, that we will not be receiving within this event data and it's going to throw an error saying something key error or the key not found right so i'm going to save this lambda function i'm going to again delete this logs now go back to s3 rename this file to reinvoke the lambda function now let's jump to cloudwatch management console and logs should be here so here it is the invocation has started so as you can see it's saying key error something right now ideally as per the default behavior or as per the default retry behavior this lambda function should be re-invoked or retried two more times right so we are going to wait for that it take a while uh, between each invocation or each retry so as you can see uh, the second retry or the first retry i would say has started right but in terms of uh, total invocation this is the second invocation right and after this one more time it's going to retry and again we are going to wait for it and here you can see the second invocation right or the second retry and in total overall it's three attempts right uh, one is by default uh, which was triggered or invoked via s3 trigger right and since uh, it threw an exception it retried two more times right so now what if i don't want the lambda function to retry the two more times or i want to change the default retry behavior of the lambda function so let's see how we can do that so let me delete this log first and let's jump back to lambda management console and scroll down to asynchronous invocation then click on edit now here uh, within retry attempts uh, we have three option that is 0 1 2 right we cannot uh, increase the retry attempts right uh, in fact uh, we can only decrease the retry attempts right now as i said i don't want to reinvoke in case of exception or i don't want the lambda function to retry itself in case of exception as it did right now uh, it retried for two times right so for that uh, we have to select zero over here rest of the option leave it as it is and click on save now uh, in case of exception it's not going to retry right so let's go ahead and 
trigger the lambda function so rename save it now go back to cloudwatch management console and we have the logs the lambda function has been invoked right so uh, it threw an error saying key error something but now it's not going to retry two more times or not even for one time right so there is an exception it's done because we have set the retry attempts to zero so we can uh, wait here for some time just to see if it is retrying so by the way uh, this is how you can change the default retry behavior of the lambda function and i think it's a very good option that uh, aws has added within lambda management console so as you can see uh, no logs is being generated right so well uh, this can also uh, save the invocation cost right so in case of exception it was reinvoking itself or retrying itself for two more times that cost can be saved so until and unless uh, there is some requirement that uh, in case of failure it should retry then this option is good but in case if you don't want the lambda function to keep retrying itself for two more times then this option will help a lot right and it's quite easy to configure and use it so well wrapping up this tutorial over here and that's it for now and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time